Sometimes I misspeak in these videos, but if you notice, you're paying attention. But I wanna talk about the secret and the fast way to get it and a slower, more accurate way to get it, starting with what it is and how to get the run. So run is from, is the span from outside to outside, less the ridge thickness. So subtract the ridge thickness and then divide it in half. They'll give you the run. You multiply that by the secant and you'll get your rafter length in inches. So in this case, we're dealing with a nine, 12 pitch. So if you set your framing square to nine on the tongue, 12 on the body and measure the hypotenuse, nine to 12, you measure the hypotenuse, you'll get 15 inches, but it's not that exact. You have to stare at it, you know? And if even you're a 16th inch out and you have a 200 inch run, that'll be 216 out, right? So that's not the best way to do business, right? So it's smarter to learn how to use your calculator. Now, many of you use a construction master, but it'll avail you to understand what's actually happening. So then, okay, uh, by using a regular old $12 calculator, you can say nine squared, that's a square root, that's a square root function, nine squared, the first you put, turn it on, First you clear it, nine squared plus 12 squared. So that's nine times nine is 81, plus 12 times 12 is 144, and then push equal, and you get 225 in this case, and then push the square root of, which is the one alongside of it. Looks like a division symbol kind of. And it's 15 inches. Now, that's the hypotenuse from nine to 12 for the, the common rafter. We want to divide that by 12 to put it in inches, because right now it is one foot, three inches. But we want it to be one inch and three twelfths, which is 1.25. 1.25 times the run of the common rafter will give you the rafter length. Now, the uh, hip rafter runs on the level 17 inches or 16.97 inches for every 12 inches the common rafter runs on the level. And that's because looking down on it like this, if you draw a 12 by 12 inch box, this is 12 and this is 12. The diagonal looking down on it is always 16.97 inches. So the math for that one is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna say nine squared, right, plus 16.97 squared, and then equals, gives you the overall when you add them together, square root of, and that's 19.2, and that's 19.2, uh, let's flip this back here so we can give you an illustration of it, 19.2, which is one foot, right, seven, and three sixteenths or so, a little proud of three sixteenths. And that's in feet and inches, so we have to buy it by 12 to put it in inches only. And you get 1.6, so that's just two numbers. One is 1.25 and the other is 1.6. You write them down and you multiply the run. If you want the hip length, say for example, or the valley length, you multiply the bigger of the two secants by the run, and it gives you the longer of the two framing numbers. If you want the common rafter, you measure the smaller of the two secants, secants by the same run, and it'll give you the common rafter. That's all there is to it. It's as simple as a construction master, and when you're done, you have a better understanding of roof framing.